Okay, so this game has third person and first person view, uh, which you can switch between. Uh, so a couple of things I found is if you crouch in first person, you can see through stuff. Um, this door in particular I chose because on the other side, if I can get into the right position, on the other side is a door handle, um, which normally, essentially, you walk up to stuff and if I run over here, you'll see a bit better. To activate your door handle, it's the same as like anything else. You walk up to it, hover over it, and then click, and it will do whatever. So door handles, recharge points, whatever, they all work the same. Um, so you can, if you sit in first person and get your angle right, um, you can in fact see that door handle. Uh, Amber is the biggest character in the game, so she tends to break pretty easily. Um, she does tend to clip through things a little easier, um, although I can't get her entire body through. She also tends to get- this is the door handle, there we go. Uh, she also tends to get squashed easier, um, so that is something to bear in mind. You can actually uh, put her like in this corner. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a weird one. You can put her in this corner, get everyone else in the corner, and she will eventually like pop out of the side. Um, which isn't super useful on its own, but it could end up being useful. Um, another thing is when you crouch and walk up to corners especially, you kind of get a glimpse of the void where you can see enemies through walls. Uh, it also does this weird mouse duplicating thing and it's a little bit trippy. And the final thing that I can think about is uh, the game, when you quick save and quick load, uh, if I remember what quick save is, so when you quick save, uh, it saves the state that you're in. So if I combat roll and quick save at the same time, and then as I quick load which is that one, it will load me straight back into the combat roll. Um, and wherever I am, it will load me in that position. Um, honestly, I don't think that's that useful on its own. I've had a go at doing things like trying to combat roll into the wall while quick saving to see if it will like push me through and it hasn't um, but it could be worth looking into okay so there's one other issue that I thought of which is uh, the game seems quite heavily based off of completing objectives um, one thing about this level in particular is that you start and finish in this elevator so all members of the team to finish a level have to be in the elevator um, seems fine, until you realise that in order to finish the level you have to complete everything. So despite me getting everyone in here, um, you have to go through whatever objectives the game throws at you. So I don't know how getting around that would work um, in terms of breaking the game. Um, and I do wonder... <clears throat> excuse me. I do wonder how other levels will fare with this because um, there are other levels where essentially the elevator doors are closed until you've completed a certain set of objectives and I don't know if even if you could click through them what that would do if you got in there if it would actually do anything so uh, yeah there's nothing I can do on here um, so yeah that's definitely something that will need a bit more investigation. But for now this is everything I found. Like I say, Amber is pretty good at breaking pretty quick. Uh, yeah, so I hope that kind of helps. I don't know if it will.